Hi, I'm Professor Talbot, and I'm here to show you the USC Standard Patient. We're going to be doing a um, musculoskeletal exams today, and I'll walk you through it. This is the standardpatient.org website, also known as USC Standard Patient. Um, traditionally, it's been used for things like having conversational practice with virtual patients. Um, you should have an account. Uh, that's been provided to you and you'll enter your account information here when you log in and you should be provided with a password as well and when you log in you should see a screen like this that'll say public group. To access your content, you have various workspaces. You should be assigned to the USUS Musculoskeletal Study 01. Uh, there should be six cases, um, two involve shoulder, two involve knee, and two involve ankle. Um, if you've previously played a case, you'll see kind of a repeat arrow. And if it's never been played, you'll see a triangle. Um, these cases are designed to be played a couple times through to really get what they're about. Uh, we're going to start with Gloria here is just kind of an example to walk you through. And as you see, there are several modules here you can click on. Um, this is 21 year old female has knee pain. There's an interview you can review. I suggest you go through this and try to generate a differential in your own mind. Try to say, what do you think is going on? What do I need to be looking at based on what you're seeing here? The knee exam has four parts, inspection, maneuvers, examination, and impressions, and uh, works through your web browser. Uh, so the first thing you do is you want to inspect and palpate. Um, so we could uh, change our views here so I can palpate here. She doesn't seem to like being palpated here. So that seems to be some pain. I'll try laterally, medially, and posteriorly. And I'm clicking to see if there's any response here. Not much. So I think the patella was abnormal. She didn't seem to like that. Maybe somewhere else. So I'm going to complete my inspection. And it looks like I palpated all the required structures. Uh, and it looks like I got that right. Okay. And also, if I wanted to review what a structure, where it was, I can get, I can hover over the name of the structure and it'll show up uh, on the screen here. It's kind of a red highlighted area. That will help reinforce where those structures are. Um, since we've completed inspection, we're going to go on to maneuvers. And here I select what maneuvers I think are important to do. Um, so let's say uh, I'll click these, just sort of randomly. But I want you to think about what are the important maneuvers to do. And we're going to check our answers. And it looks like um, we have some here that we missed in red. And then we have these two that we picked that are correct. Um, things that are permissible to do would show up here. And then if I pick something that was really a bad idea, it would show up in this contraindicated list. So um, it looks like there are several maneuvers here. I didn't select, for example, patellar compression or the patellar grind, which I should have. Um, so hopefully the second or third time I do this case, I'll know which maneuvers to select. Keep that in mind. So now let's move to the examination. And here I have multiple views possible for each of these maneuvers. So for example, I can do strength of flexion and I can go through the range of motion by dragging this control back and forth. I can also go transparent and see the structures underneath the skin. And it looks like there's normal range of motion in which I could be looking out for, and there doesn't seem to be pain. If I felt that the range of motion was abnormal, or the motion was abnormal, or there were pain, I would click the abnormal button here. Um, I'm going to do that, even though I know this is normal. And let's go down through the list here. Let's try compeller, patellar compression. And try that test. Oh. Oh. oh, she doesn't seem to like that. I can also see the structures underneath here. 
So that's definitely painful. So I'm going to mark that as abnormal. And I should go through every one of these maneuvers. I don't need to go through every view of every maneuver if I'm satisfied with the view I get, but I should go through all these maneuvers um, and see if they're normal or abnormal. I'm going to check my answers here. And obviously the strength flexion was normal and I listed as abnormal. So it gives me a red mark for that. And it says I was uh, correct about patellar compression, but I was, I should have also looked at patellar grind, which would have been abnormal. So looking at that feedback, I'm going to move forward to my impression and I'm going to say, just say this was a normal case. So that's good Schlatter, which it isn't. You can figure that out and check our, check our answers. And it says this is incorrect. And of course, this is an abnormal case. Um, so my overall impressions that I did good jobs inspection. I did a very poor job of maneuver selection. Exam was, was as far as my impressions, I got most of it correct. Um, but I did very poorly in clinical impressions. Um, so uh, I could also look at a more detailed summary of what I got right or wrong. But um, at this point, uh, I want to go to the next module, which is feedback. And if I like something or dislike something about the case, I would say the, the animations were cool or whatever I wanted to say. And I'd say I'd like, you know, whatever you want to improve it. Um, I would put that feedback here, whatever you want to do. It's really important whenever you finish one of these cases to go to the report uh, because this is what saves it. And here's our score summarized. And then here's our, and it'll give you the answers of what the correct diagnosis was here when you go to the report. Um, so that's that. If I want to review my feedback, it's here. And the most important step after you look at your report is hit exit case. This saves your progress. So remember to do that for every single case. And what I recommend you do is uh, you play through these several times until you master a case and you get most or all the content correct. Um, and then the case will have done what it's intended to do. There are six cases for you and I hope they uh, work well for you.